Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janae Michelle. I might look a little different. Yes, I have a wig on today because I didn't feel like doing my hair. It's still there. I did a poll uh, on Instagram and on Facebook about what you guys, what topic you'd like me to cover next. And the one that won was friendships over the age of 40. And it's this is kind of an interesting topic. This is even pertinent if you're not 40. But I do think it is harder to find quality friends as you get older uh, because you're, you've evolved and you've changed. So one of the first things that I would consider is why do I feel like I need friends? And this is not based on outward social conditioning structures, which the world would have you believe that you need a lot of friends in order to be successful or well-liked or received or well-connected or just an all-around good person. Bullshit. I think human beings obviously are very naturally wanting to be connected. I think that's part of the reason why we're here in this time space reality. Now I know that I'm not the only one who has been disappointed by friendships. Ugh. Okay. Is friendship really worth putting the time and investment in? Some of you are probably like, I have the best friends and we go do everything together and we fill our lives with each other and what have you. I think some people really thrive with friendships. I think that others don't and either is okay. What? You don't have to have a lot of friends to be awesome? No, you don't. I'm an extrovert by nature, but I'm very introverted. So I really cherish my time alone, and I really am very careful about who I give my time to. I can probably count on two fingers um, the number of people that I talk to in a given month. You don't need a lot of friends in order to have a really full and rich life. And that is the thing that people who have a lot of friends say to people who don't. I think it really comes down to what do I really need from a friendship? What kind of people really make your heart sore? What kind of people really make you feel good about yourself? What kinds of people actually speak truths to you and don't tell you shit that you just want to hear all the time? Those are really good friends. I guess the next space that I would consider is really zone in on the types of things that you enjoy and then go to those places to meet people. So whether you're a book nerd or whether you're a total spiritual guru or you know you really love coffee and foodie and things like that, whether you love beauty products or what have you, I, I really think that get clear about what you really love, not what your spouse likes, don't do that really find out what you like, right? If you want to go canoeing and not one of your friends does that, then don't think that you can't do it just because they're not going to go do it with you. These old friends I got, they need to get out. You want to connect with high quality people, especially after the age of 40. Now this doesn't mean that you need to look for a beat to be opportunistic, like to get you higher up somewhere at work or, you know, getting you to a new social circle, but you do want people who are quality people, people who are ambitious, who have their own thing going, right? Who, who are dedicated to something beyond their family or beyond their work, something that they're super passionate about. Those, are, those make really great friends because they're, they're gonna inspire you. They're gonna be around you all the time and they're gonna inspire you to be or find or show up a different way in your life. We don't need quantity, especially after 40. We're managing too much shit anyway. I think my final piece of advice when trying to find friends, especially over 40, is get real with yourself. Get real with what it is that you're willing to give in a friendship and what you will not tolerate from people in your world. Here's the deal. So probably about maybe nine months ago, maybe more than that, I had like 5,000 people like on my Facebook. That is not a brag. I was using it for work and I just added people because I wanted the eyeballs on my work. So most of the people that were there were there from a past life of doing different work and they weren't very supportive behind what I was doing, like what I'm doing now. And then I had a lot of people like from high school and things and just part of my past life. 
And I noticed that, you know, I went through and I deleted like 4,500 people off of my Facebook because I kind of wanted to start over. You know, friends are seasonal. They don't have to stick around forever. I did the same thing with many of my friends in high school. We weren't having very many conversations. If we weren't having very many conversations, I deleted them because I don't need to hang on to what was. What was was fantastic and I wouldn't take it back for a thing and I, I wish nothing but the best for all of those people. But, and it wasn't any hard feelings. It was just like, if we're not gonna really have a dialogue, then why am I gonna waste my time trying to be your friend when I'm not really, there's not really this reciprocal thing going on. I just kind of let them go. And there is a huge powerful thing in being able to let those people go. And I know that it can be challenging and I know you might be thinking, well, what, what will people think if I do that? Um, but I would just say be brave and don't worry about it. And if they want to take it personal, that has everything to do with them and nothing to do with you. Because if it, was, if it means something to them, they will come to you and ask you why. You got to let go of people sometimes, especially if they are weighing you down and keeping you from the life that you want. Another little final note, you should always consider being your own friend first because if you're not getting that right you ain't gonna get friendship right with anybody else and that means you may need to get over a few of your own hang-ups whether that's mental or physical um, and you may need to be able to to spend some time with yourself to get right on that all right guys that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed that and if you did i'm gonna ask you to do whatever youtuber does because it helps our analytics i'm just gonna be up front so hit the like button or the thumbs up button or what have you um, if you're new here welcome and subscribe and if you really love this then ding the bell 